In Washington, Doug Luzader, Fox News. Well, there are four weeks left now for Florida's legislative session, and there are some big issues still on the agenda. Fox 35's Ryan Elijah joining us right now alongside former State Senate President Mike Karadopoulos. Hello, gentlemen. Amy, thanks. Mike, thanks for sticking around, by the way. My pleasure. Thank you. So Amy mentioned four weeks left now in the legislative session. Uh, it gets interesting. We've got auto insurance, online taxes, COVID liability still on the agenda. How do you see all these playing out? Well, at this point, it looks like they're going to come in for a smooth landing. Uh, they've got a great problem, if you want to call it that. That is that with all the money coming in from Washington, D.C., approximately $10.2 billion, they're trying to figure out how to best spend it to help all Floridians. At this point, uh, Congress, excuse me, Governor Ron DeSantis has said, we're going to spend at least $1,000 for every public official who's been helping out in the uh, coronavirus situation. That means public safety, police, fire, et cetera, ambulance. Uh, this would be a thousand dollar kind of bonus for their incredible work they're doing to not only get out the vaccine but to take care of the front lines at the hospitals and so with that in mind they're looking at that beyond that the other idea is to help out our infrastructure especially our ports have been so dramatically hit by this terrible coronavirus that's to re reinvigorate make them stronger not just for the it's still the cruise passengers, but also for the transportation network that's so vital in our state. Yeah, they've been hit really hard. The governor also wants a thousand dollar bonus checks uh, and some money for teachers as well. Will he get that through? I think he remember last year he called for that increase in teacher pay. He was able to get that out of the legislature. So teachers are in pretty good position. Also, in addition to that $10 billion, the state and local governments, meaning that their counties, for example, will be getting billions of dollars as well. In Brevard County, where I live, $100 million to help out with corona relief and whatever ingestions where they want to spend it on. And so in general, you're going to see a big infusion of cash to the state and local government to the tune of around $16 billion. That will clearly help our economy. And with more and more tourists coming in as the coronavirus starts to fade, I think this is going to mean a big boon for our economy. Remember, right now our budget's around $97 billion. That's without a tax increase. And to put some comparisons on, New York's about to pass their budget with a smaller population. It's $200 billion dollars. And so you see, we spent a lot less here in Florida, but in general, things are looking up because of the infusion of money and the fact that there are no major disputes going on between the House and Senate, literally the governor. Mike, real quick, is there one issue that you're watching that could go either way in these last four weeks, a major issue? Well, I think one of the issues that could go away is auto insurance. So everyone who drives, of course, pays auto insurance. The good news is, is that your rates are actually down because fewer people were on the road during the corona priors. That said, there's been a push to increase the number of potential lawsuits that's called mandatory bodily injury. That would put it Florida in line to make it an at-fault state as opposed to no fault. That's going to be one that's going to probably come down to the wire, and people are concerned that if that passes, it could mean higher auto insurance rates at this time, let alone more uninsured. That could go down to the wire. But in general, things look pretty good because this infusion of cash. They're trying to decide to make sure that spend it out on one-time projects, make sure they do it the right way. Just four weeks ago, we'll watch it to the end. Uh, former State Senate President Mike Caradopoulos, always appreciate the insight, Mike. Thanks. Thank you, Ryan. Have a great morning. You as well. We're coming up, hoping for the best, but preparing.